can I undo in these mountains so I'm going to stick a tiny bit more black in with this dark colour because obviously we've come a little bit closer now so because we're a tiny bit closer it wants to be a tiny bit darker there ok have some good variety in there a bit of variation marbled and then with that this is a big mountain now you're going to curse at me here because I'm going to be covering some of these mountains up <laughs> right I think we're going to go here, put a little peak on it there, this goes in front of this mountain here, there. lining it up at first, giving me the edge that I want, lovely. Just picked up a hair then. If you pick up a hair in your paint, make sure to take it out. Make sure because otherwise you'll, you'll find that when you blend it, it will be there. Right, I'm just going to put some paint behind these mountains. Just there. Just the dark. Remember, the top edge is all that I'm bothered about. That's it. And then there's a big rise here now, up to there. This is the biggest mountain out of all these, you see. So I'm going to have to mix a bit more of the colour. That is phthalo blue, midnight black. Oh, I've used Van Dyke brown there accidentally. Sorry guys. Take that paint away, get rid of it. Shame I've wasted that. Right, start again. Phthalo blue. I need quite a, a, an amount for this. So phthalo blue, lizard and crimson, and black. This time it's definitely black I've put in. <laughs> there we go. Tiny bit more of the black. Don't want it to be too bright, you see. I want it to be natural looking. If you make it too bright, it just won't look natural. Right. I'm just going to come up in here again. Put some more of this dark colour in. Some lovely tops to it, this mountain. Really, really nice tops. go and then from what I remember is I'm doing all this from my imagination from my memory of the actual video on the mountain which was near his bob cabin Maybe that's going to go up to there, slightly higher. Get a nice edge on these, really nice edge. Yes, that's the sort of shape that the mountain is. I'm just going to have to clean my finger off because sometimes the uh, paint rides up the knife, and you end up getting it all over your fingers. and. I'm not too much of a messy painter because otherwise you end up with paint everywhere. But, as you can see, today I'm not doing too much of a good job to stay clean. <laughs> it's all good fun though. Don't mind. Right. Now with the clean knife. Get a new load again. Keep putting a bit of black in with this. I don't want it to be too blue. 
but I do want it to be dark. These, the undercolour for these mountains is pretty, pretty dark. Maybe bring that down there and just a little, a little rock just on that corner. Now, we're getting somewhere near, ready to blend it out. Let me block that in behind there. more black of it. That's the colour. That is the colour exactly what the mountain was. So I've chuffed the bits that I've managed to get that. Oh I'm gonna destroy this mountain. Now you've got to do this. You seriously are. Because the mountain in front is gonna look so much good anyway. And it's no better because it'll push this one back. right through there, just like so. You're sculpting the mountain with the palette knife. Plenty of paint in there. And then you notice that I get plenty of paint in there, but I always scrape off the excess. I don't want too much excess. 